In this video, I'm going to show you how to find a confidence interval for a proportion using the TI-84 calculator. So here's an example. Uh, we have a trial of 350 patients who received uh, a dose of some drug, and 49 of those patients recorded uh, having a headache. We want to construct a 90% confidence interval for the population proportion of patients who receive the drug and report headache as a side effect. Okay, so our job here is to uh, estimate the population proportion uh, at 90% confidence. Okay, so we can start with our point estimate. Our, our point, what's called our point estimate, is the sample proportion. Okay, so our point estimate in this example is, we call p hat, which would be 49 divided by 350, uh, which is which is 14 percent. So the population proportion is 14 percent. So that's our point estimate, and now we want to construct our 90 percent confidence interval. Okay, um, there's two ways uh, we write, we express confidence intervals. We can express them as uh, p hat plus or minus the margin of error, uh, or we can express them in, in interval form. Okay, so to get the interval form, uh, we're going to go, we're going to press stat. We're going to go over to tests, and we're going to go down to one proportion Z interval, which is choice uh, capital A, one prop Z interval. And we're going to press enter, and we're going to get this menu. If you've got an older calculator that doesn't have this menu, um, you're just going to go back to the home screen and type in uh, these three numbers in order. So X, it wants to know the number of people that had the headache, which would be 49. N is the total number of people in the study, which is 350. And the confidence level here is 90%. And then we're going to go ahead and calculate. And it's going to give us the interval, which is uh, 0 0.10949 to 0.17051. So our confidence interval tells us that uh, the population proportion is likely between you know, 11 and 17 percent is essentially what our estimate is. It's between 11 percent and 17 percent. So that's our estimate for the population proportion uh, done at 90 percent confidence. So if you want to give your uh, confidence interval in uh, interval notation, this would be your answer. If we want to put it in uh, this other notation, our point estimate is 14 percent. That's the number right in between uh, the two bounds in our interval. And then we need to compute the margin of error. So to find the margin of error, we just need to figure out how far away this lower and upper bound are, are uh, from our center, which is 14 percent. Okay. So if we want, we can just do uh, the, the higher value, uh, 0 0.17051, and we could subtract uh, 14%. It looks like the margin of error is 0 0.03051. 0 0.03051. So that makes sense. The margin of error is roughly 3%. If we add 3% to 14%, we get 17%, and if we subtract 3%, we get 11%. So our estimate, uh, again, is that the population proportion is going to be between 11% and 17%. Okay, just so you can see the difference, let's also, um, let's estimate our population proportion at 95% confidence. So what happens to this in interval if I uh, require a higher level of confidence. Okay, so on our calculator, that's pretty easy. We'll just go to stat, we'll go over to tests, and again, we'll go down to one prop Z interval. And all we're going to do is change the confidence level to 95%. Okay, 
And our 95% confidence interval is this. Uh, 0 0.10365 to 0 0.17635. Okay? So, you know, if this was our confidence interval, we would essentially say it's between 10% and 18%, you know, if we, if we round to the nearest uh, percent. So there's kind of a give and take here between uh, how good you want your estimate to be and how high a level of confidence you want. So notice if we increase the confidence level, uh, we have to cast out a larger net, so to speak. We have a, a slightly bigger confidence interval. Okay, so you know it's it's more desirable to have a better estimate, a nice uh, smaller interval. But again, if we want a nice small uh, interval estimate, we have to allow for uh, allow for more error to creep in. So the higher the confidence level, the wider your confidence interval estimate will be. Hope you found this helpful.